Catfish farmers, soybean growers, and consumers stand to benefit from a research project designed to produce a more marketable farm-raised catfish. Rebecca Lochtman, a professor of aquaculture and fish nutrition at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, has been studying ways to improve the nutritional value of catfish by altering their diet or feed. She recently learned about a specialty oil developed by a food scientist at the University of Arkansas in Fayetteville that could be added to catfish feed and achieve her desired results. And it's soybean oil except for it's been chemically modified so that it's high in conjugated linoleic acids and that's another type of fatty acid that's uh, healthy for humans, has some of the same heart healthy benefits, uh, but we're hoping that first of all it's a more sustainable product because it comes from soybeans, we'll have a, a steadier supply, uh, and also we're hoping that it won't change the taste of the fish. So human consumers will still like it, but it will be healthier for people. Though initially it may cost producers a little more, Lockman hopes they will be supportive of the research project and give the new feed products a try. And I think they understand that they're going to have to do some things differently in order to stay competitive. And uh, they still are the number one aquaculture industry in the United States as far as food fish goes. So uh, I think for, through a variety of changes, one of them being the diet and trying to make a healthier product, uh, I think they will be able to get their competitive edge back. Lockman believes the project has the potential to help Arkansas farmers raise a product that could boost the price they get for their fish and improve their marketability. We're really excited about this project. I think it's, it's very unique because uh, this particular type of soybean oil enriched with CLAs is not available anywhere else. It's never been tested anywhere else. And we really think that it can uh, do a lot of economic good in Arkansas because it should help our catfish farmers become more competitive and also it's gonna help our soybean growers as well. She says it will take about three months to complete the feeding trials and another three to conduct taste tests and analyze how the oil has altered the fatty acid composition of the fish. 